a large part of the new engagement, the fact that in middle class localities, people have come out and voted in the numbers that they have, have to do with the fact that Anna and Arvind have played the role that they have. Who is Arvind Kejriwal picking up his seats from? This is a very crucial data point in my view, because of the 28 seats where the Aam Aadmi Party is leading or winning, 16 are coming from the Congress, 11 are coming from the BJP, which means 11 seats which were previously held by the BJP have now been taken over by Kejriwal and 28 seats that the Aam Aadmi Party is leading on have been picked up from the Congress. So clearly, Surjit Bala, they're hitting the Congress more than they're hitting the BJP. Look, I, again, I think a proper analysis of where they're getting the votes from has to be done in terms of votes, not We can try that. Just give me a moment. Yeah. We can try that. But yeah. The only problem in putting out the vote share figures at this time is that the vote share figures till about 2 p.m. are never fully reliable because mm -hmm. all the votes haven't been counted. But since you've well, asked that question, that I will put that out for you at this time. Of the votes that have been counted so far, the BJP has got 34% of the vote. The Congress is at 25. So the BJP is actually down from last time. They were 36, 37. So okay. they're down. Uh, the Congress is at 25. The Aam Admi Party is at a whopping 32% of the vote share, which Shiv Vishwanathan is absolutely incredible. So it's the same actually, then it's a higher vote share than even the BJP, according to these people. No, 34. 34 and 32. how much is the BJP? 32. 30, no, 30, 30, 34, 34 for the BJP, 32 yeah. for the Aam Aadmi Party. So almost identical. No, no, then it is, look, they had, the BJP got 36% of the vote last time, and if they are 34, then basically the BJP position, or the BJP supporters are rock solid. Two percentage points is no change. So therefore, Manish Kumar I can only conclude. From I can only conclude that the most 90% of the votes that the Aam Aadmi Party has got has been obtained from, 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 from the, from the, the Manish Kumar Pandey from the Aam Aadmi Party is now joining us as I put out uh, this image of where the BJP, uh, where the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party are picking up uh, most of their votes from. If you see, this is the color-coded map of Delhi. The BJP on the extremes, on the periphery, is very strong. It's in the middle. It's in the heart of Delhi in posh localities, in several of the central areas of Delhi that the Aam Aadmi Party has done really well. Manish Pandey, 28 leads for the Congress, uh, for the Aam Aadmi Party, 32% of the vote share so far. What does the Aam Aadmi Party intend to do with this sort of a mandate? It won't help you from the government unless, unless you take help from the Congress from the outside and then tell the governor that we've actually got more seats than the BJP, therefore we have the right to form the government. Will the Aam Aadmi Party try that sort of a mechanism? Uh, first of all, my name is uh, Dr. Manish Kumar Aizada. Uh, I think it was by mistake. But, my apologies. Uh, Manish Kumar Aizada here. Uh, Sorry. The mandate is very clear. The, the era of uh, clean politics has started in India. No, no that's fine. Uh, yes, uh, the, the era of clean politics has come to India and uh, Delhi is just the beginning of that. 32% vote share is a big achievement and we were frankly speaking always confident about it. Because right from beginning, we unleashed what we call citizen politics. That means the Aam Admi, the common uh, person, basically participating, participating in the politics. I would like to highlight a few of the achievements of this one year's uh, political campaigning. One is that it was started by Aam Admi. Second is it was fought, the whole campaigning was fought on the basis of white money clean money. We know that. This is not an opportunity so much to go into the past of the Aam Aadmi Party as much as into the future. How much of an opportunity have you in the Aam Aadmi Party had to think about what happens in the general elections? How many candidates will you be putting up? Will you have a 543 seat presence? I was told by somebody from the Aam Aadmi Party just now that you've got a presence currently in 319 seats. Are those where you'll be putting up candidates? How will you approach the next few months? Manish. Well, uh, yeah, the, 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 the situation is very clear. The political affairs committee will sit down and decide. But I can tell you what's uh, going on is that we will be contesting in the Lok Sabha elections for sure. The, the, the picture is very clear now. And this clean politics has to go out and expand in the whole of the India. That much I can say.